Hey, how's it going everybody? So today, I've got a cool little gardening project I want to share with you that can help you to get growing extremely cheap. I'm talking less than a dollar. You can create a grow box and begin growing more of your own food at home. And the more you grow, the more self-empowered you become. Many folks, such as myself, initially get into gardening because we want to save a little bit of money. We want to lower our grocery bill. But what we all quickly come to find out is there's so many other benefits to growing your own food at home. For example, by starting your own plants at home, you can grow unique varieties that you would otherwise not have access to. By starting plants from seed, you open the door to a whole new world of culinary, ornamentals, medicinals, and that's a beautiful thing. Otherwise, you're stuck with whatever it is your local nursery or big box store is offering. And what fun is that? Some other benefits include better tasting, higher quality produce. When you grow at home, you're in control of the medium in which you're growing in, and you're able to pick it when you need it, when it's the freshest. And the health benefits associated with gardening are tremendous. It allows you to get outside more, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, and the simple act of gardening can provide a nice little workout for you as well. Now I could go on and on and on with all the different benefits associated with gardening, but what I really want to do today is help to empower those who are just looking to increase their abundance and grow more at home. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to put together a grow box like this on the cheap. Less than a dollar, about 65 cents to be exact. Now this has a nice large space to grow in. You could plant anything in here. Carrots, spinach, broccoli, tomatoes, you name it. I've actually turned a couple of these grow boxes here into self-wicking, automatic watering, off-grid style containers. By using these sandbags here, I can add some water directly into this growing container and it will wick up from the bottom into the soil. So I can water every few days. I can check the soil moisture just by putting my finger down in there or observing to see if the top here is beginning to dry out and I can add more water. But this reduces my time involved in growing my crops. I've got some longevity spinach here. I've got some chayote squash. And this literally only takes a couple minutes to put together. All this is is a cardboard box and a hefty duty contractor style trash bag. And this bag specifically is actually watertight. It will hold water if you want to do a self wicking style bed or you can create a little drainage pocket like this so it can drain off the side. And the way I have this set up, the entire box is protected by this plastic. So you can set these outside. You don't have to worry about rain and they'll hold up throughout the entire growing season, perhaps multiple seasons, depending on how you care for them. Now there's really only three items you need to put this together. A cardboard box, some of these Husky contractor cleanup bags. These are three mil, 42 gallon, heavy duty, and some high quality tape like Gorilla Tape. So we'll take one of our bags out here. Now there are a variety of sizes of cardboard boxes that you could use and make this work just fine. But for the sake of this video, I'll just share with you this box is around 19 inches long, about 10 and a half inches tall, and about a foot wide. So first things first, just want to open up the garbage bag. And we'll place it inside the box. And if you want to create a pot that drains or has an overflow, you want to leave a little extra bag material in there. Don't make it a perfect fit. And we're just going to turn this over. And basically, we're just going to fold this in a way as if we were wrapping a gift. And as you can see, we got quite a bit extra bag here, so you could use a larger box. Now, before we tape this in place, I do suggest spritzing it with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and wiping it down just so that the tape can better adhere especially if this is going to be outside in the weather and we'll just tape this down and the bottom's done put the back around and that's all there is to it you now have a growing container 
in which the cardboard is completely protected by the plastic. So you can put this outside without any issues. So we left a little excess material here inside and here's why. We can now create a drainage hole in here. And what we want is for the water to exit a little ways away from the box so that it doesn't soak up into the cardboard. So we're gonna make this drainage hole towards the bottom. If you're doing a water wicking system, you can make it about three or four inches up from the bottom. And that way, if you got those outside and it rains, it'll overflow out of that hole. It'll never completely fill up. But before I show you that, I'm gonna put some water in here and just show you that this is watertight. So I actually filled one of these up with water and let it sit for several days and there wasn't a drop of water that came out of this container. So again, if you use these specific contractor bags, and there will be a link down below in the description box, you're gonna have yourself a watertight growing container. All right, so I'm gonna make a traditional planter box here and place my drain hole right here towards the bottom. So once again, I'm gonna spray a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, clean the bag off. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape here first. Get your tape on there. Now I'm gonna drill a 5 8 inch hole through the tape, the outside liner, and the cardboard box. But I don't want it to go through this plastic, so I'm gonna move that away from the edge. So there we've got our hole now. Now we can take some of this excess material and using our finger, we can start to push it through at which point we can pull it out. And you can put another piece of tape just to kind of hold this in place. And now all you need to do is just put a little hole there at the end. And now you've got a drain that will actually drain away from the box. That water never has contact with the cardboard. And now all you need to do is add in your soil and you're good to grow. And to make these awesome automatic watering self wicking pots, all you need to do is to load up a sandbag like this with soil and plop them in your container. Now for these two containers, I did not create an overflow drain. I have these growing in my greenhouse. If you do plan on putting these outside and you expect quite a bit of rains to come into the area, you can install the drain like I just showed you up higher on the container. That way if the water level ever gets too high, it'll overflow out. I'd recommend putting it up at least four inches from the bottom of the box. And then to water these, all I need to do is add some water into these containers every few days. And the water that I add into these containers will not become stagnant. It will not become a breeding ground for mosquitoes because I allow that water to fully absorb into my growing medium and I give it a couple days before I add fresh water in here. And after watering in your wicking containers a few times, you'll get an idea of how much water you need to add in between waterings. All right, so these heavy duty, high quality construction bags go for around 60, 65 cents a piece cardboard box free if you pick yourself up a pack of a hundred of these sandbags they come to about 50 cents a piece so if you want to put together a self wicking grow container like this with two full-size pots i'm going to be leaving these plants in here this is their permanent residence allowing them to grow out throughout the season you're looking at a total of about a dollar and 65 cents and if you just stick with the traditional grow box you're looking at about 65 cents then all you need to do is source your growing soil Hopefully you've got some compost going in your garden. You've got a nice pile that you can access, maybe an area of your yard you can dig up some quality soil. But if you do buy the bag stuff, an indoor-outdoor potty mix works very well. And if you want to beautify your new grow box, you can simply wrap a little bit of burlap around the outside, and you can easily connect that with a couple of these binder clips directly onto the box. You could also use a hot glue gun if you wanted to and make it nice and pretty around the edges. This is also going to add longevity to your box if you've got it out in the sun. The burlap will offer that plastic a bit more UV protection. 
and it can also help to keep your soil cooler as the box is black so if it's out in full sun it could heat up quite a bit so by having a cover like this around the outside not only does it look nice but it's actually very functional and a small strip of burlap like this is going to add a very small cost to the overall project especially when you buy this in bulk like i do useful for so many different types of projects around the garden you can make privacy screen out of it shade cloths freeze blankets for your plants and it's very decorative and so with that i want to thank you all for watching have yourself a good one until next time this is dan from plantabundance.com take care i'll be talking to you again soon